Hi guys, C Chronicles is my name. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you're a first time I hear, we do fragrance review videos and we do lifestyle and fashion videos. So I do hope you do consider subscribing and staying on this channel before you leave. Uh, to my returning subscribers, thank you so much for coming back. Formal is what I'm here to talk about here. And what I've decided to do is I've decided to pick fragrances within my collection that smell the same. I did do videos, uh, you know, last year of some fragrances that smell the same. Now I've decided to do another one here because I think I've got new finds here that smell the same. Some of the fragrances I don't have with me here, but I'm just going to give you a heads up. So don't let Formal make you buy the same fragrance twice packaged in a different bottle okay so these are fragrances that are smell that smell the same rated and their counterparts okay so the first one i'm going to talk about is this one i did a review of bouquet supreme bouquet supreme is by white oud uh perfumes okay so bouquet supreme i did compare uh to memos marfa and for sure this seems you know to be uh like 80 percent similar to memo marfa okay but another one that i wanted to talk about which you should know of that smells like both of these is by our stuff and it's called yakin so if you see a fragrance i'm gonna put it either on the left or on the right that's co it's called yakin it's by our stuff it's one and the same thing with this fragrance so don't go there you know and buy 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 it as a second one if you don't have of course these two you know obviously this is the original that the other ones are duping so if you can afford the the, the the original that's good but if you don't have the two and then you've watched this video and you think okay i'm gonna go or you 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 see your keen on a website it's one and the same thing with this one and it smells like memo marfa there is a tuberose you know uh, that comes through there's a creamy coconut in all of them it smells fluffy and uh, the lasting power on your keen though is not that good so uh, since i said i'm gonna rate them i would say as far as dupes are concerned this one would be better as compared to yakin by astaf however of course memos marfa is on steroids in terms of lasting power now the second one i wanted to talk about is astaf's shama wad okay i did bring you a review of this fragrance the other one i did but i decluttered astaf's shama wad is similar to paris corner satin last and they all duping uh mfk's oud satin mood okay so don't uh go and buy both you'll be wasting your money i'm not saying don't don't go and buy oud satin mood obviously oud satin mood is the original so i would encourage you to buy the original however if you're on a search for a dupe there's no need i feel for you to own both pandora lux and this one however in comparison as i compare the dupes i'd say this one is way way better as the shama what this gives you the you know uh beast performance okay it's got your sweet cambodian oud of course the oud is synthetic in here in both pandora um satin lux the ouds are synthetic but this one is way way better it's 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 also more powdery uh very loud and very bold you know and way way more you know closest to mfk's oud satin mood so that is the second one like i said the ones that i don't have i've done videos full videos off before but i will put pictures you know so that you know the ones that i'm talking about but because i do declutter my my fragrances often in as much as i've never brought a declutter uh, you know video to you here i don't keep fragrances that i don't use i've decluttered most of them now number three is going to be okay pandora uh, Pen La Nuit Pandora by Paris Corner. This is obviously duping uh, La Nuit Trésor by uh, Lancôme. Okay, so this would be the original that this one is duping. However, it's also similar to uh, Taste of Kiss by Le Reef. Now, in terms of which one to go for between these two dupes, if you were looking for a dupe, obviously, like I said, again, I'm going to sound like a broken record, Go for the original if you can afford it. However, if you're looking for a dupe, there's absolutely no reason to have both of them. These are quite uh, weird in the sense that, uh, you know, it I would say these depends on av availability, performance and stuff. They, you know, kind of feel the same. Lasting power is also similar. Uh, you get about four to five hours. So I would say for these ones, I wouldn't slag one for the other. It just depends on availability of where you are. You would definitely get the La Nuit Trezor, uh, the La Nuit Trezor experience with these two however you do not need both of these okay and the only reason why i have both is one i gave to my daughter so i just had to go and retrieve that from her okay the next one 
I want to talk about is obviously Anna Abiyad Rouge. This is not a new one. I always rave about this one. Now, if you check in my videos, I've done a Pandora Rouge uh, review for you in my, uh, uh, you know, in, in my videos. These are obviously inspired by this one, MFK's Baccarat Rouge 540, not the x straight but the original. So I'm going to tell you which one I feel is best. I feel uh la tafazana and rouge gives you the best you know the closest and best interpretation of mfk's 540 okay i get the uh you know i get the soft leathery sweet earthy you know vibe and um in terms of lasting power it lasts uh, I would say this this one lasts about six hours or so, which is something I don't get from Pandora Rouge. Uh, the interpretation here is really good. Uh, so yeah, definitely I would say this one. I know there's a lot of other dupes for MFK's 540. So I'm not here for that. I'm just here because I do, I've done videos of, I've done the Pandora Rouge video, okay? And I've done this video and I've done the original, you know, the video reviewing the original. So instead, you know, of you, wondering which one to go for you know if you were looking for the one that best interprets i would say go for this one you know it is kind of closest okay closest although i own the x straight but i find this one's more smoother you know it's less rough okay next one is going to be uh this one okay musk vanille musk vanille musk vanille by uh maison Alhambra. Okay, so Mas Veni by Maison Alhambra is obviously um it's it's obviously um inspired by uh what was that? Musk vanilla, is it? Let me just check. It's inspired by I have the oil here or something. It, yeah, it's 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 inspired by Mancera's uh roses vanille okay ro i was getting it mixed up roses because there is musk vanille as well there is montal's musk vanille they're quite similar okay they are quite similar so in terms of interpretation okay i did bring you this one as well roses vanille i brought this one for you this one is from paris corner and then i did bring you this one from white oud this one's called Feyrouz, okay and i did another one of this one okay now of the three which one is closest i have got the mask i've i've, I've just forgotten the sorry the 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 the, the um, roses vanille i've forgotten the little test it's a little vile that's why i don't have it i thought i'd have it close to me i don't have it but anyway i'm gonna tell you my thoughts okay now i did a video talking about paris corner's epic fails okay so roses vanilla by paris corner is not one that i would you know kind of recommend here because to me it does nothing it's it, it, it interprets a fragrance so well in the opening but it's it's gone in 60 seconds so i just personally feel that this you know if you can afford to get your hands on something else i would rather you do okay now interpretation wise this musk vanille by uh maison alhambra is the i would say is the closest i'll give this about 85 to 90 percent similar vibes it's ticks all the boxes okay now i have this ashward by latafa as well which is often uh, uh you know compared to uh the roses vanille this one's this one to me doesn't quite you know do it a hundred percent this one takes like an instancy kind of like a more creamy uh, direction although it's got like a similar similar vibe so if you were looking for mancera's um you know ro uh, uh, roses vanille i would say this would be the best okay however you won't be missing much if you've got either of these if you've got the Feyrouz, this one's also kind of like this one it takes this one on like a citrusy kind of vibe it takes it like on a green kind of you know aquatic kind of vibe so these will kind of remind you you of roses vanille by mancera but not quite ticking the box however if you are looking for something closest then this would be the best interpretation although you have to reapply because this gives like about four four to five hours this one i wouldn't recommend at all because this one has zero lasting power at least to me okay so yeah th those are similar i wouldn't encourage you to buy one or the other okay i personally have like four of them in front of me here including a tester for the original reason being because I just love, uh, you know, whether it's the roses vanille or musk, uh, uh, or roses musk. I just dig that metallic kind of thing going on there. 
I personally like it. So that is why I didn't mind hoarding different ones just to see what it takes, you know, what, what, what they, 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 they kind of interpret as, you know, but I personally have to be in the mood for this one because this one is a bit strong. And like I said, it takes it on a different direction as well as this one. This one gives it like a lemony aquatic kind of direction, but it still has that metallic thing going on there with your roses veneer. Okay. So this will be entirely up to you in terms of recommendation. I'd say a hundred percent. I would recommend this one. This will give you like a, it, this will be twinning. Okay. It will be twinning with Montserrat's roses veneer. Okay. Honestly speaking. Now the next one I intend talking about is this one. This is Betty Owl Oud. Okay. Uh, which is also known as Oud uh, for glory. Okay. This one obviously is your, um, inspired by, um, uh, initials uh, Oud for Greatness, okay? This, inspired by Initials Oud for Greatness, okay? I just had to mention that, but I don't have Initials Oud for Greatness, but I just wanted to talk about these two, okay? These two, here's the thing, okay? If you are the sort that likes your beast performer, I would say get this one. There is a similar thing going on between these two. To an extent that I'd say, if you use the Amouage fragrances, the way they do the male and the female version kind of reminds me of what's going on there. This is your lighter, you know, it's got your lighter take to whatever's going on here. This is more rubbery, more smoky, thick, more niche than this one. This one's more wearable. Uh, so, you know, uh, and to an extent, I'd say this one would be the EDT of this, or this is the e, the, the Parfum, and this would be the Intense, something along the, them lines. They are similar, but I just thought to bring them to you so that you make a decision of which one you think you would prefer. If you want a lighter take, or if you want or if you've got this one and you feel you wish you could do more, I'd say go, go for this one. They're not a hundred percent the same, but they will give you a similar vibe. They're all so herbal. There is that spiciness thing going on there, a bit smoky, that sort of thing. However, I cannot compare this one to Oud for, uh, for, for greatness because I don't have the initial one, but I just want, thought I should give you a heads up in case you're looking at which one to purchase between these two. For a female, this I'd say go for. For a male, this I'd say go for. However, both are unisex. So, it depends on what your nose can take. If you want something really strong, then I'll say just, you know, uh, pull the trigger on this one, okay? Now, the next one I want to talk to talk about is Yara. Uh, the one I wanted to, to compare it with, I've since uh, decluttered. I would want to compare Yara with... Um, Pleasure Girl. Uh, Pleasure Girl is by Rave. Okay, there is some similarity there. I'm going to put Pleasure Girl either on the left or on the right side. I've done a video of a review of Pleasure Girl. So if you've got Pleasure Girl or if you're in a shop and you're wondering which one to take, I would simply say they have a similar vibe. However, I would gravitate towards this one because this one has got that creaminess kind of strawberry thing going on there, that coconutty kind of finish to, to it. However, both of them are beast mode. Okay, so you will get that beast longevity from both of them but i would definitely say you know i would go for this one although they have a similar vibe whether or not you need both i don't think so and both of them are inspired by dior's poison girl in case you wanted to know which uh which ones you know what these ones are, are, are kind of inspired by if you like dior's poison girl then i'd say yeah definitely go for either yara or uh, that tough yara or rave pleasure girl now last but not least i'm gonna talk about amir al oud okay amir Al Oud, this is a by the fireplace Maison Magella's uh, uh, Magella's uh, uh, by the fireplace uh, inspired by version, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so yeah, this is your um, by the fireplace inspired version. However, I did notice that this one is so similar to Asdav's Marge Sultan, so you possibly don't need both. It's also quite similar to Rugba the Intense, okay? So not the regular Rugba, I don't know where my Rugba is. There is the regular Rugba, this one. Okay, now there is the inten intense version, so don't get it twisted. It's not similar to that. It does, of course, have a bit of some likeness, but not that one. If you've got or you were, you you wanted to buy the Rugba Intense or you already have it, I don't think you'll be missing much. You may not need to add this one, you know, to your collection because it kind of reminds you of that. And it does have that similar vibe with that, uh, you know, uh, uh, Maj Sultan. OK, both of them or the three of them, I have got like that resinous, smoky resinous feel, incense feel, heavy woods in there. OK, so you definitely don't need the same bottle. They might have different in ingredients, but they interpret to the same thing. So that is what I had for you guys here. Fear of missing out. Formal. Don't let formal make you buy the same fragrance packaged in a, 
in a different bottle twice, three times. It's quite disappointing. I've had to go through this, but I'm not particularly, uh, you know, uh, bothered by it because I do fragrance reviews. So I can always bring these kind of, you know, uh, interesting videos to you when I discover that I actually have fallen into the same trap. But I don't want you to, to fall into the same trap of buying the same fragrance twice or three times or because it's packaged in a different, you know, uh, 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 packaging. I don't know why, you know, Middle Eastern houses do that. They will bring a different fragrance, especially Latafa. Latafa will repackage the same fragrance in like 55 different uh you know containers i don't know why but so it is what it is sea chronicles is my name thank you so much for joining me today i hope you did enjoy watching this video let me know in the comment section if this was helpful to you uh you know let me know what you think or if you've got you know something similar or you were thinking or you were about to do the same mistake like this video if you like it turn on post notifications so that you're notified anytime i upload a video stay blessed stay fabulous and remember smelling good is a form of good manners cheers